We, when we leave port, it takes us a day and a half, <laughs> sometimes two days to get out there. We're headed out for the 2008 Opelio season. I'm thinking about all the crab I need to catch. As always, there's a changing of the guard for the Opelio season. Andy will take the helm from his brother, Jonathan. So the minute we get out on the grounds, it doesn't matter if it's midnight or three in the morning or, or three in the afternoon, we don't stop working. We work about 20 hour days. I can't see the crap out there. But with waves pitching the boat in every direction, the 360 kilo pots become more and more difficult to manage. Big waves all around. It's like right at the dangerous, really dangerous spot. 25, 30 foot seas will just crush a guy. We've uh, been in 100 foot seas, <laughs> hit from behind, it threw me up to the ceiling. That's when I, that's the, knocked, that's the only time I thought I was gonna die. It knocked a, real, it knocked a microwave 30 feet across the boat through a door. Put a microwave left a right perfectly through a door. square hole. I end up on the, on the side of the boat. We're 60 feet under, and uh, took the boat about 20 minutes to finally come out of it, and we get hit by another 100-foot wave. Yeah, that's what the people don't realize is the waves keep coming. They, yeah. You don't get hit with a 100-foot wave, and that's, it's all over. Yeah. They keep coming. It's not, they yeah. Coming. Well, everybody on the boat gets hurt, too. I got hurt just playing a prank on Captain Phil. We gave him a truck. I got hit in the eye, about took my eye out, and I smashed my finger. Yeah, well, and that's just, you're guaranteed to get of, hurt. There's a lot of fingers on the bottom of the Bering Sea. I have pieces of my hip in here. I don't know if you can see that. And, uh, I pulled, We've uh, iced up twice in our life where the boat ices yeah. up and almost rolls over. That was pretty scary. We, we, we were in the lee of the island, St. Paul Island. So uh, we turned the boat and it just laid on its side. It didn't come back because there's, we had about a foot of ice on the, on the pots and on the boat. Every time it, the spray hits you, it makes ice instantly. Yeah, so we know if we have about six to seven inches of ice, the men have to go out on deck and totally de-ice the whole time, hit it with bats and pieces of pipe, or else we'll, we'll die. So on this season that everybody's watching right now, in the Opelio season, I had to work the last trip three days straight with hardly any sleep, just because the cannery changed the delivery date, so everybody had to stay up, so. And I'd, I'd they, drive the boat while they slept. They, the is, guys sleep on the way in. You guys probably so. got a four hour nap as long as now. I do, I do other things for a living, but I've never quit fishing until I get too old and get tired of getting beaten up. I don't know nothing else. I wouldn't do anything else. We're not, we're not rocket scientists. We know that. 